From Knoxville, Tennessee, a professional record of 10 wins, no losses, 9 wins by knockout, James Gaines. From Riverdale, Kansas, his professional record 11 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, 8 wins by knockout, Martin Foster. We take a look at a matchup here today, John, and uh, Gaines, 22 years old, Foster, of course, the veteran at 27, big 4-inch height advantage. Lateral. We get ready here. Round number one, scheduled for ten. Martin Foster comes out uh, about the fastest I've seen Foster work in a long time, John. For a real early, Arnie. And it's not a bad strategy, actually. Actually, uh, Gaines doesn't look like he's even warmed up. There's the boy at 313, 15 pounds, whatever it is. It looked very good, about as good as you could look. And for him, it was a big plus. He was coming off a four fight knockout by streak. So finally got himself a, a decision. But uh, Gaines, he's been proud of us the shot at the IBF Intercontinental title fight on our next big heavyweight explosion show coming up again on in the broadcast. A little more than a minute gone. Well, we, we know he can because uh, a year ago he was fighting at 260 fight against Lopez McGee. Uh, Gaines weighed 275. We referred earlier to George Foreman's similarities. Of course, George had that afro. Uh, his trainer, Gaines... But uh, I asked him about his, ten, you know, ten rounds if he has to, eight rounds, whatever, whatever that, you know, when he wasn't training for a fight, he didn't work as good hand speed. But I, I've got a question: is his pounds? And believe me, I don't think he's probably very trim at 275 either. But, <laughs> but up at 313 now. We got 20 seconds to go here in round number one. We're scheduled for 10. That's Gaines in the black shorts. Martin Foster in the blue with the white stripe laying on the ropes right now and taking a pounding from Gaines. Pounds since last fight. We take a look at action here at the end. Round number one where he had stung Foster at Foster caught on the ropes. Well, the body punches landed, but those earlier head shots didn't. Certainly that right hand did. Back at the Aladdin Hotel on Heavyweight Explosion. I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal along with John Saraceno. And that's James Gaines you're looking at. James Gaines, Martin Foster is not exactly body beautiful. No. Yeah. And I think it's taking another portly 248. Foster's record 11-7-1 and one with eight knockouts. Not looking bad doing it, but had been knocked out four times straight prior to that. Just that fight, he gets past Foster today. Pasture in his house uh, growing up in Kansas. I mean, that's where he... And that's kind of his boxing roots. That's where he started. Uh, he, he won the gold medal at the Olympic Festival in Minneapolis in 1990 at Super Heavyweight. So, uh, well for himself. Highly touted amateur three. Stopped him in one round. Things haven't been stay in some sort of shape. He's got a, a very good... No cut to give up. <laughs> Can handle himself if need be. And there you see Gaines unnecessarily eating the jab. He's got to move his... ...into the late rounds. Foster, again, win an impressive 10 rounds and losing a decision to Nate Tubbs just back in March. And the furthest that Gaines has ever been is five rounds, and that was uh, Martin's attention. But you're right, uh, he hasn't gone beyond five rounds, and uh, certainly he uh, could be... There's a little familiarity to a Little Rascals episode where Chubby and Little Joe got into a fight. I don't know if you remember that one. They... <laughs> I'm Round ready. number three. Get your scissors out. Arnie Rosenthal with John Saris. At James Gaines trying to keep his undefeated streak going here. He's 10-0 now against Martin Foster. That's Foster in the blue with the white shorts. In between, should Gaines go into the later rounds? Yeah, certainly. Uh, he's not the boxer that, uh, I mean, he's a better boxer than Foster is, I think. Could be a, a real problem for him. And James was telling me yesterday that he really doesn't even like to fight, Arnie. That he likes to, he likes, and he was really fighting the nerves last night. He, all of his fights but two were in Tennessee and of course coming out to Las Vegas to fight Captain Nerves and he says he gives himself a manicure right before the fight starts and that calms him so uh... I do that before the broadcast just to calm me before going on heavyweight explode. Very interesting if it gets past five. Foster although not what you would call optimum shape at 248 pounds weighed about the same when he just fought Nate Tubbs back in March. Oh no problem going ten. Sizzling right uppercut on the inside and wear you down. Foster not known for his chin. He's been knocked out five times. Four of those, both the Gary Mason, Phil Jackson, and Samson Pua. So, ranked heavyweights, sure. nevertheless, guys that can punch a bit. In the weight department. 321 back in August of 92. 
up to 338, 275 in his last fight, February of 95, and comes in. 10 seconds to go. Round number three. Oh, he's hurt. We're here on Heavyweight Explosion, and Foster's rocked. He's bleeding, and he's unsteady, but he's trying to fire back. Now we're going to see some of that action right here from Gaines. Working the body, then going upstairs. There's that. Some, box, some of those box. losses uh, recently going to be accounted for. You know, getting a phone call late one night. and Type of fighters. Um, Lionel Butler is going to be in that syndrome. Martin Foster hasn't had any such luck, and he just ate a big uppercut on the inside. Right in there, and certainly his defense is not very good. I think that James Gaines is throwing on the inside. It'll be interesting. We're going to be coming back to the champion. Very exciting fighter. Torsten Ma as well as number five world rank Corey Sanders and the new sensation. Everybody, what would happen if he gets down to 275 between now and then? That's a lot of weight. Obviously to the detriment of the fighter. Particularly if you have to make a round fight. Well, if James Gaines is serious about becoming a world heavyweight champion at some point, he's going to have to really work on his weight problem. There's no doubt about it. And his, and his man, if you're a professional, you have to comport yourself as such, whether you're trained for a fight or not. And uh, a lot of heavyweights get out of shirt pounds and slowly getting back down into the 250 range. Um, this department, you're right. Buster Douglas talking about a comeback these to be able to come down. And we've got 10 seconds to go in round number four. This is scheduled for 10. You know, Buster consistently starting most rounds aggressive as he's starting here. said before, that's a conditioning factor. I mean, if you're in condition, you're able to make those moves. Your legs are able to, to carry you. It's the one time, though, I've had the pleasure of calling a Foster fight. Right hand lead by Gaines. He's standing. We're at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal, along with John. Nice Hope right hand he dropped in there. Sorry, Arnie. That's okay. Hope you're enjoying our bouts and... Coming up, our main event, Mike oh. Bounty Hunter, and oh, Foster's hurt, John. He's going. He's going down on one knee. Potentially hey. followed up with two hey. more shots. Hey. He's not quitting. On the part of Foster here, Carlos Padilla taking a good look at his eyes. Uh, let's see if the young 22. Well, why would Foster, if he wants to get up, just stand in there now, John? Why isn't he getting well, he out of there, holding on, doing yeah, something? And Padilla's going to stop the fight. I don't think he had anything left to hold on. Not much of an yeah. argument. Litter. Some of these, we take a look at action here from round number five. We're going to take a look at knockdown. Accumulation of punches. That right, though, really hurt Foster. Clubbing Foster goes down. We take a look at it from the other angle here. Good hand speed, though, by Gaines. Nevertheless, even with all the extra weight, and we take a look. Good stoppage by Carl. The winner by a technical knockout and still undefeated, James Gaines. How about a nice hand for a very game, Martin Foster.